Universal Declaration of Human Rights. This is a big one too, man. Article 25. Oh my goodness, this is a big one. Just the first sentence alone. Just follow me, hear me, listen. Everyone has the right to a standard of living adequate for the health and well-being of himself and of his family, including food, clothing, housing, and medical care, medical care, and necessary social services, and the right to security in the event of unemployment, sickness, disability, disability widowhood, old age, or other lack of livelihood and circumstances beyond his control. Oh my God. Are we not living under Article 25 right now? Especially if you own your own business and it's considered non-essential, it is actually a violation of your human rights. It is. It is actually a violation of your human rights. And you shouldn't have to give up any, any, you shouldn't have to give up your rights to receive a privilege. So you got to fill out these paperwork in order to get this stimulus check. When in, according to this, in the way I'm interpreting this, bring it to the cipher, all you attorneys and lawyers out there, if you decide to, and I'll, and I'll take the time to shut up and listen and learn. Trust me, I will. If I got, if, if, if I'm misinterpreting this, they should be sending out checks to every single human being on this continent in this U.S. country territory that they have control over. Based on your human rights, Article 25. Second, motherhood and childhood are entitled to special care and assistance. Planned Parenthood, things like that. Motherhood and childhood are entitled to special care and assistance. They're supposed to be taken care of according to the human rights. It's not supposed to be ashamed. It's not supposed to be frowned upon if they have a medical card, if they get public assistance. It says it right here in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights that they're entitled to it. All children, whether born in or out of wedlock, doesn't matter if the parents are married or not, shall enjoy the same social protections. So you can't ridicule them. You can't belittle them. You can't make fun of them. You can't talk down to them. So every time somebody ever says to you, Go get a job. Get your ass off of welfare. Excuse my language. Sorry. Get your behind off of welfare. They're violating your human rights. When you're treated less than, when you go to the hospital and you don't have the insurance that you're supposed, that they, that they require, and they turn you away, According to Article 25, that is a violation of your human rights, which means it's also a violation of your constitutional rights, which they have sworn an oath on the Constitution to uphold the Constitution, which upholds your human, the protection of your human rights. This is why it's important to know history and law. And pick up these things and read them. And because most people don't want to do it, hey, I got you. I'll do it. I'll sit here and I'll put it out there. You guys can agree, disagree at all you want. But if you're going to disagree, make sure you bring it to the cipher with your facts. Don't just speak. Don't, don't just give your chat. Okay, I, I'll take that back. If you want to share your emotions, you want to share your opinions, I'm here to listen. But don't expect for me to respond in, re in, in regards to them because I can't argue against your emotions, your opinion. The key word in that is that they belong to you. They are yours. But I'll listen. I'll let you vent. 
Because I'm, I'm venting. And if you're watching these videos, you see me venting. So I appreciate you, look, you watching them. But if you want to debate the facts, you got to bring proof. You got to show and prove. Right? Show and prove. And I trust me, I'll follow. Trust me, I will follow. I went into one of this analogy in one of my other videos. Love.